<laughs> I can tell, and you've you've just told me. I do wonder about like the amount of work you put in, your dedication to your job at the time, h- how that did affect your family and your home life, and and uh, essentially uh, the consequences of working so much. I mean, it affected it tremendously, and I think that the working so much was a, only a small part of it. Mm-hmm. I think a bigger part of it was the fact that. You know, my family was such a big part of the vlog for so long. Like when my older daughter now turned one or like 11 months, we stopped putting her in any videos and any social media. It's like the first time when she turned one was when the vlog was like four or five months old. And I realized that like, whoa, there's an audience here. People are watching this. I don't want to put my kids out there in this capacity anymore. And I stopped putting them out there. Mm. Um, But even so, that aside... You know, my relationship with my wife was a big part of the narrative. My mm-hmm. relationship with my kids, as far as me being a father, was a big part of it. Yeah. And I think the social implications of that were as um, impactful, if not more, than the sheer hours I was working. And the implications of that were things like, if Candace and I weren't in a good place with our marriage, there's no fucking way she was going to like be chipper when I pointed a camera at her. Oh, yeah. And by chipper, I mean willing in any capacity. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. anything but her putting her hand over the lens saying, turn that fucking thing off. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, I used to like avoid fights with her, avoid arguments with her. I very, I very deliberately used to quell any disagreements we'd have because I needed her mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. content. Yeah. And, and then, looking back at that, life, what a crazy, it's... what a crazy thing that is. Yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm disturbing the the way that the world should work <laughs> because I need content. Yeah. And I don't think that I'm like a particularly like maniacal person, but it does make me stop and think when I see much more invasive family vloggers. Mm-hmm. I don't mean this as a judgment. I, I mean this as a genuine curiosity, but people who rely so much on their children who aren't babies, but are four or five, six, seven, eight years old, they rely on them for content. I was trying to rely on my wife who's my age and I could rationalize and for fun, content. Yeah. And I could feel the burden I was putting on her. I have the same thoughts. And, um, yeah, I don't necessarily want to, like, call out anyone or make them look bad. But it feels wrong to me to yeah, rely yeah. on a child. Even even if it seems like the child wants to be involved and it's fun, it, they just don't know yet the full picture like an adult knows. You guys know the EB family? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Yeah. We're familiar with yeah. them. Yeah, and they're really nice. I really fucking n- love them. Yeah. yeah, he's a sweetheart. Yeah. I love those. Yeah. I think they're doing everything right is where I'm going with them. Mm-hmm. And this is a huge priority of theirs. And we've had this discussion before. And they go to a really extreme place, which is like, what are the labor laws about putting your kids in videos? Like, what? how do you quantify the value that they're bringing to the content? Are then, there? Is that value no. going back are to them? Or there are not There aren't. Well, that's the point, yeah. is that there's nothing not everybody's looking at. And then these revenue is being generated because these children are creating content. Where does mm-hmm. that money go? Mm-hmm. Is it parents that are keeping that, or is it kids? I think these are all really smart questions that can be asked without pointing fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but just to bring it back but, to what you were asking, Ethan, is it was yeah. just like... Only, I was aware of it at the time, but only in retrospect do I look back and it's like, wow, mm. the destructiveness of that on my own marriage and relationship was right. mm-hmm. profound. And I talked to my wife about it now and she says with no equivocation, she was like, you have no, not to me, because I did know, but she says publicly, she's like, you have no idea how close to divorce we were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it was like when I wasn't superficially being nice to get her to behave to be in mm-hmm. my videos, I was working, I was yeah. just working. Right. Um, and that yeah. that that in itself, that's much more objective. And how how did it affect the relationship with your son too? Because your son, you your age difference is very small. What's the age difference between you and your say son? like sixteen years? Sixteen yeah. years. We're almost the same age. Which is which is so totally, crazy. <laughs> every time I see you guys together, it's, it's really something. I mean, yeah. you guys must have a really unique relationship for that purpose. But I've seen videos of you kind of like celebrating his birthday or something, right. and you're vlogging the experience. Did he also feel the brunt of that? Well, it was, it's always been easier with Owen because he's old. And even like you go way back and you look at like my HBO show and you go back and you look at my really old content that he's in, um, he's always old enough to sort of consent and sign off. So like, you know, when I think of some of the more, he went to college when I was about, I think a year into the blog, a little more than that. And when, you know, you sort of look into that content, like he and I driving cross country, drop him off at school. There's always kind of a discussion 
like, do you want me to make videos? Do you mind if I make videos about mm-hmm. this stuff? Do you want to be in them? Do you not want me to do it? And he could always give me a very thoughtful response, mm-hmm. which I think without exception was always like, yeah, let's make videos. Did he ever say no? Owens never said no. In fact, recently, and this both made me sad and then really proud, recently he was like, can we take a trip together because we haven't made a video together in a really long time. And it made me sad because mm. we haven't made a video together in a long time, but it also made me like, it was the first time that he really sort of showed me unprovoked that he's not just doing this because mm. he thinks he's supposed to or he's not just doing mm. this because mm-hmm. he thinks I want him to do it, but it's something mm-hmm. that he does he like. He, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's very different from, like, Francine, my daughter, now being like, I want to be on YouTube, mm. which she says. She says that? Me Every kid oh. say that, though, now. She's yeah. four. Oh she's a baby. God. And the reason why is because, like, she watches JoJo Siwa. Uh-huh. God bless her. I love JoJo. <laughs> um, and she's like, I, I can do that. And uh. she could. And she wants to do it, which is ironic because we don't have what YouTube do you in our house. What do you think about that? Mm. As a... I, I, for me, it's, like, a hard no until she's, like, 18 or something like that. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it's just because I know that she has no idea what it means. It's so I brutal. I was 34 or whatever, 35, when I started really putting myself out there on YouTube. I had no and idea it what it meant. so brutal. So how can a child have any understanding of what it means? Even JoJo, who I adore, and I never take an opportunity, I never miss an opportunity to say how much I appreciate her, and I genuinely do. She's an amazing person. Like, the burden that's on her and the, the criticism that she gets mm-hmm. for who she is, like... For being 15 years old and be able to, to handle that in any capacity if shows how tough how she is. You? But to subject a kid to that seems really... 